I had a very stressful morning and this afternoon, given that it's sunny and relatively warm for early November, mid-November, I decided to do some forest bathing. So I'm going to go for a walk on this forest trail and just use my five senses and see what I can learn about this forest. I can hear the wind. It's a warm wind. I can see the leaves on the ground. I can see the sunlight casting shadows in the trees. Oh, this looks like an area that looks like a lot of fun. If I was younger, I could climb on those big branches with my friends. I can see that the path is a little bit muddy and slippery, but that's okay. There's some grass if I want to walk on the grass. Maybe the wind is keeping the birds under cover because I don't see any birds. And it's not dark yet. Oh, I can see some people up ahead. Oh, they're going the other way. That's good. Because I like being in the forest and breathing the fresh air. And Oh, I heard a bird. Was it a woodpecker? Oh, what was it? I can't see it. I heard an airplane, though. And I smell wet grass. I hear another chirping bird. There's lots of different varieties of birds in these forests. I'm not even very far from my house either. Oh, I see a nest up there. Must be a squirrel's nest getting ready for winter. They build these nests out of sticks and leaves. And that's where they spend the winter. I don't see any squirrels though. And these look like wild raspberries. I don't think it, oh, a woodpecker, I saw a woodpecker. Let me see. He blends right in with the tree. It's hard to see. There's another nest. Anyway, that's the end of my forest bathing. Well, I've just finished cleaning my teeth. I'm almost ready to call, uh, call it a day and get into my warm, comfy bed. But before I do, I have to fill out my grateful book. Yep, I've been keeping one of these grateful journals for about five years now. My wife got me started on it. I, uh, she said one day that I was acting kind of strange and kind of stressed with life. And she suggested that I write in a journal before I go to bed and list all the things that I'm grateful for for that particular day. So that's what I did. And you know what goes on in my brain now? Because I list things that make me happy and glad to be alive before I go to bed, I train my brain to look for those things the next day when I'm awake. Yeah, like, I don't know what's going on, but I keep looking and trying to find things that I'm grateful for through my waking hours. And then I have lots to say at night. It just makes the stress of living go away. I think it's going to help me live longer. I'm not sure. But anyway, I thought I would just look through here and before I write in it, share one page with you. Let me see. Um, maybe I'll look for the date. This goes back a year. I'll look for the date. It's now, what, uh, November the 11th, um, 2023? Where's November the 11th, 2022? Yep, 
Yep, I'm getting closer. November the 11th, 2022. Yes, here it is. A year ago today, this is what I was grateful for. Yep. I raked leaves. I didn't just rake leaves off of my own property. I raked the leaves that were in the street in front of my house. I love raking leaves for some reason, and there was a pile of them out there today, and I raked them for about an hour. I had fun raking them up close to the curb so that the city machine can come and scoop them up and take them away in a few weeks, yep. And I had my favorite salmon for supper, right. Somebody told me that it was a good idea to eat salmon, I researched that, they're right, so I buy salmon and I eat it twice a week, and this is what I do, it says in here, I take a pan that I can put in the oven, I turn the oven to 400 degrees, and then I put some parchment paper in the pan, I place these two or three sometimes, depending on who's here for dinner, and I place these two pieces of salmon fillets on the pan. I pour a little bit of olive oil over each one, put a few of my delicious herbs like basil and parsley and thyme, rosemary, maybe some sage, sprinkle some of that over it, maybe a little lemon pepper, and I cook it for about 20 minutes. Whoa, is it good. And then, well, I watched Yellowstone. It's a, um, it's not on Netflix. It's on Paramount Plus, one of those TV stations. And I um, like watching it, not for the violence and the sex and stuff like that. I like watching it because it's so na nature oriented. There's so many animals in it and beautiful scenery and trees. I love that kind of stuff. Right, and then one more thing here. You won't believe it. I went for a bike ride. Yes, there's no snow. It was five degrees a year ago today. And I rode my bike. And I love riding my bike. You know, I've got a bike that has no brakes and no gears. I mean brakes, yeah, if I pedal backwards, it slows down and stops. But there's no brakes, you know, how you got these brakes on these handlebar things and gears and stuff. Don't have one of those. I love riding up hills. I had a great day. November the 11th. And one more thing. You know, I, I don't want to be depressed and think about all the great men and women that went to war years ago and still are fighting for freedom for all of us around the world. So I don't really go to the Remembrance Day ceremony that we have down at our cenotaph, but I put on here, I spent a good half hour trying to do good deeds for other people today. Yep, and I did a few. In fact, I took a pair of my really, really favorite shoes down to this food basics grocery store in my town. And there was a homeless guy sitting there who's usually there. And I gave, because it, it was a, a Saturday and, and uh, to, today, and I gave him the, uh, the shoes. I did. This is my cat, Twyla Mae. She's a rescue cat, seven or eight years old. She really has trouble with change. I'm similar to her, I don't like change. On the other hand, I'm all for open and ready for new ideas, so I don't know what that's about. But I do know that when she is relaxing on her favorite white couch and I'm stroking her, my blood pressure goes down.
my anxiety level goes down. I have a healthier vagus nerve because I'm in the parasympathetic nervous system. I'm resting and digesting. I would recommend you get a cat or maybe a dog. Something you can stroke. I just filled all my bird feeders in my backyard and I'm ready for my emotional freedom technique, my EFT. Some people refer to it as eco-meditating. All I know is it works. I'm gonna tap the nine energy points in my body. And by doing that, my cortisol, my bad hormone levels will go down, my heart rate will relax, my anxiety will disappear, any pain in my body will be gone, my immune system will be up, I'll feel happier, I'll be smarter, and I'll be more balanced, believe it or not. So here's what we do. The first thing we do is we find our karate point on the sides of our hand, you know, karate, karate kid, and we gently tap it and we say something good about ourselves. So this morning I'm gonna say this, I like myself and I am smart. I like myself and I am smart. I tap number two between my <coughs> eyebrows here above my nose, just gently. I am smart and I am happy. I am happy and I am smart. That's number two. Number three is at the end of our, our eyebrows by our temples here. Gently, I am smart and I am happy. I am smart and I am happy. And then, <clears throat> the cheekbones at the top below the eyes. I am smart and I am happy. I am smart and I am happy. <clears throat> below the nose, above the lip. I am smart and I am happy. I am smart and I am happy. And below the lip, above the chin. I am smart and I am happy. I am smart and I am happy. Right here where my collarbone comes together, right about in here. I am smart and I am happy. I am smart and I am happy. Underneath my armpits. I am smart and I am happy. I am smart and I am happy. And the top of my head. I am smart and I am happy. I am smart and I am happy. And that's all there is to it. I'm ready for my day. I feel great. Let's just count them again. There's number one. Okay, one, two, three, cheekbones four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Have a great day. Gardening is another way that I relax and it's such a beautiful day today. Maybe eight degrees, but the sun's out. The chipmunks are out. The squirrels and the birds are out. I just filled all my feeders and now I'm going to play around with the leaves and trim the bushes before the snow flies. But this helps me live in the now, in the moment. It helps me relax. I know it's good for my blood pressure and my stress level. And I've got my truck out there. It's loaded with stuff that I can take to a compost site been trimming the bushes it's just the best if you don't have a garden go for a walk in the forest or a park volunteer help your neighbors it's just the best